guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be talking about back to school because if you are watching this on the day it is uploaded, August 21st, it is my first day back at college. I have two official years left of undergrad and I am really excited to get back into the swing of things. This is also my little sister's first year at college. She is a new freshman, so we've been talking a lot about what she needs, what I believe the college necessities are, how I study, and different things like that. So I just thought I would share with you guys some of the things that I consider college necessities. These are things I have come up with over the course of two years in my college career, plus the advice that I got from my older sister, so I really hope you find them useful. So we'll just start with some of my favorite study tools. Now, hands down, my absolute favorite favorite one is using a little mini whiteboard. This is the one that I got from Target. It's going to totally mess with the white balance because it's a white board. Um, <laughs> I just have this little one from Target and I don't know if you can tell based on like the reflections, but this has some wear and tear on it. This has been my day one whiteboard. I take this thing everywhere. This thing is always in my book bag with me because any time that I need to study for anything, this is my go-to. If you are a visual learner like me, and I don't mean by reading, but I mean by seeing like graphs or diagrams or things like that, then a whiteboard will be so, so, so helpful to you. This was seriously a game changer with my study habits. <laughs> Basically what I do is if I have a bunch of equations that I need for a chemistry exam or something like that, and I just need to remember a bulk amount of things, I will make graphs and charts and basically I will make like one big graph of the things that, that I need to know and I will organize it in a way that is easy to remember. Then I will take a picture of it so that I have like a master image of what the graph is going to look like. And then I will start to erase different sections and rewrite them over and over again until I can erase the entire graph and rewrite it all from memory. So for example, like for my nutrition class, if we're talking about fats and I need to remember the different types of fats and what they break down into and things like that, I will put like a big box at the top that says fats and then I will put a little bar below that and put another box that says lipids and then I will put Put like monounsaturated fat, saturated fat, polyunsaturated fat. I will put just like all the different things that I need to know about fats, like from branches, kind of making like a branch diagram. I don't know if there's like a specific word for that. I'll basically just make these like tree branch things that just kind of have everything connected and everything relating to each other. So not only can I use that information on the exam, but I have a visual image of why each of the little things are related. Basically, it's not only a good way to memorize things for an exam, but it's also a good way to get an understanding of a subject as a whole, which I think is super important, guys. We can't just keep memorizing things to regurgitate for an exam and then forget it. We need to actually have an understanding of the subjects that we're learning for our career paths. Also, just a small thing to go along with that whiteboard, make sure that you get some extra fine Expo pens or any sort of dry erase markers. If you just get regular ones, I feel like it's a little bit too big and it takes up too much space, but when you get the extra fine ones or ultra fine, whatever they have them labeled as, you can write more little details and it makes it a lot easier to use up the space on the whiteboard. Another tip or hack regarding a whiteboard is having a giant whiteboard in your dorm or apartment. I love having my big whiteboard on my wall right next to my bed so that way every morning when I get up, I take a look at it and there is my weekly goals. There's everything that is due. I just really like having another visual way to see what needs to get done. And also I like to add a daily affirmation at the bottom for every single week. It's a really great way for me to stay positive and keep pushing through even when things get really, really tough. So yeah, alongside having all of my assignments and things that are due written out in my planner, I really like to have it up on my whiteboard so that way I see what my priorities specifically are for the week. All right, enough talking about the whiteboards. Let's get into another study tool that I really, really love to use, and that is Quizlet. I'm sure a lot of you who are in high school or college already know what Quizlet is, but if you do not, I'm just going to give you a brief overview of what it is. It's basically having online note cards. You don't have to buy stacks of note cards anymore and write everything out. Even though writing things down is a really good way to help your memorization, I just think using Quizlet is a lot quicker so you can get straight into your studying. Plus, if you've already taken notes in class, then there's there's no need for you to really write it down again, even though, like I said, it does help. So it does help you use the old school note cards, but I really love Quizlet. Also on Quizlet, you can search and you can find other students who have made study guides for maybe the subjects that you're studying. I find that really helpful too, so I'll make my Quizlets and then I'll search the subject and see if there's anything in anybody else's study guides that I might have missed. 
Another website that I like to use for studying or homework is Chegg. Now Chegg is a website where you can buy reduced price textbooks, so that is really cool. But I find that anytime I'm searching a question from my homework on Google, Chegg pops up. And I've never actually bought the subscription for Chegg until this semester, but even then Chegg has been super helpful because they'll usually show like a portion of what it is that you're searching for and then they'll like kind of blur out different parts of it. So sometimes I've been able to get some information off of Chegg that I needed before buying the subscription. But basically, Chegg has a lot of the answers to the questions in the back of your textbooks, the questions on your worksheets and things like that, that you wouldn't normally be able to find in the back of your textbook. You know how like the back of textbooks have the answers to like the odd numbers? Well, Chegg also has the answers to the even numbers. So if you need to double check your homework or if you are in a hurry and just need to get your homework done a little bit faster, sorry, that sounds really bad, but like, you know, gotta be real here, am I right? We all have tried to search for answers on our homework online before. Okay, and if you have a subscription to Chegg, it makes it that much easier. You can pretty much find the answer to anything and everything on Chegg.com. I think it's something like $14 a month, so it is a bit expensive, but I think if you are taking a really hard course, it is worth having just so that way you can double check your work. And they also have all sorts of different study tools. I'm pretty sure they have like a tutoring thing on there, so definitely check it out. Okay, so next I'm going to show you two apps that I feel like are absolute necessities for college students. The first one is an app called Freedom, and this one really helps me out when I'm studying or if I have a lot to get done. Basically, it is an app that blocks your social media apps for an extended period of time. I know this sounds like hell, but it is really, really helpful. I actually have my social media apps blocked right now because I knew I needed to film and get some things done around the house, and I totally find myself getting distracted by just swiping away mindlessly through Instagram and it wastes a lot of time. So if you're like me in that way, I definitely highly recommend checking out the Freedom app. Okay, so the next app that I really recommend is Alarmy Pro and this is an app, I don't know if it costs anything, I can't remember, I'm really sorry. But this is an app that makes you do something in order to turn off your alarm. So some of the options are to shake it, to do math problem, to scan a barcode or Q QR code code, well, why can't I say that, QR code, or to take a picture, which taking a picture of something is the one that I use all the time. So basically I will set like my peppermint essential oils out in the living room because that's always what I want to do first thing in the morning is I put the peppermint essential oil on the back of my neck. So that's like my first thing that I do in my morning routine. So the night before I set my peppermint essential oil somewhere in my living room, I take a picture of it, I set it with my alarm, then I go to sleep. When my alarm goes off, I have to take the exact same picture in order to turn the alarm off. So it forces me to literally stand up out of bed, come over here, take a picture of the peppermint essential oils, and then I know, oh, I should put that on the back of my neck because it helps me wake up in the morning, and then I was like forced out of bed. I was forced to wake up. And it is successful at keeping me out of my bed probably 80% of the time. There's still some issue with my self-discipline to keep myself from going back into bed, but 80% of the time, I'm up for the day. And for my last tip, I really recommend having a watch on you for exams or really just for class in general. Some classrooms, it might be really hard for you to see the clock without like looking around, looking over your shoulder and looking like you're cheating. Or even some classrooms don't have a clock at all. So I think having your own way to check the time without checking your phone is really, really essential, especially if you're like me and you start to panic, if you think, class is almost over and you're not close to being done with your test, it's a really good way to gauge whether you need to speed up and kind of rush to get the test done or if you need to take your time a little bit more because you have more time than you thought. So recently I got this watch from Yord. It is a company that makes wood watches and I think they're just so cute. They have all sorts of different options for women and for men. So this is not sponsored in any way, but Yord has been so gracious to give us a giveaway. Ooh. Yord is doing a $180 store credit giveaway. Basically all you have to do to end up getting a super snazzy watch just like this one is click on the link in the description and it will take you to a a web page where you can enter in your information and be entered to win the gift card. Or if you're just too anxious and you just want to already go ahead and get a watch, there will be a coupon code in the description box below so you can get $25 off your order. Both the giveaway and the coupon code only last until September 3rd, so make
make sure that you jump right on that so that way you have a good chance of winning. There won't be a lot of entrants anyways because it's not like I have that many followers. So like you really do have a good chance of winning. So I would go enter that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below any other college items that you deem necessary. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and not only that, but hit the notifications bell so you get a notification every single time I upload a video. And don't forget to check out my vlog channel. I just uploaded a new vlog over there. So I will have the link to that at the end of this video or in the description box down below. So I guess I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.